Hello my friends and welcome to another watercolor tutorial. We are going to be painting something a little more fun and simple today. More along the floral theme since it's April. I hope this is released in April otherwise that doesn't quite make sense. But uh, I saw this calendar page by Letters by Amy and it's basically like she made her own calendar so the bottom half was obviously like the days of the week and the top was obviously the month april and then this beautiful floral design and i'm obviously like this is a tiny piece of paper i'm not going to turn this into a calendar page but that is the idea that is exactly what you can do if you want or you can just paint with me so the first thing i'm going to do because April is written at the top, I am just going to pencil out the word April so that when I, you know, paint on my fancy lettering, it, um, it all fits properly on the piece of paper. And I'm trying to use, like I'm trying to freehand her fancy letters here. I'm pretty sure that she does just based on her, I didn't actually go on her page, this just came up in my suggestions, but based on her um, handle, I have a feeling she does calligraphy. So I am trying to <laughs> mimic this beautiful font that, sh that she has. But you guys can just use whatever font you would like. It'll look something like that. So I'm going to take a black watercolor. And I'm going to paint that first because it's at the top. It's just easier to do that. It may be much easier for you guys to simply... Take a marker, and I would not judge if that's what you chose to do instead of trying to paint this. But I am trying because this paintbrush that I have is actually quite nice. Um, because I'm very, I'm used to very stiff paintbrushes. That's what I've been painting with for years. Like my Grumbacher and my Winsor Newton, they're a lot more stiff. These ones by Grabby are much more, I mean, loose is the best way that I can describe them. Like they're very... <coughs> flimsy but initially it bothered me initially I was like yeah this is not for me but I think you just have to get used to them before writing them off and yeah they kind of allow for this very neat calligraphy style Of painting Round this off. And we need a little dot. Okay, that's not too bad. I mean, it's 
obviously not as nice as the one I'm looking at, but um, you can always go back and define the edges a little bit better. Or I'm going to go and erase the pencil marks once it's dry, but that's good for now, I would say. So now what I would like to do is make the bottom part of this all these beautiful flowers. So you can use all the greens that you have. Um, I'm going to have like... These like grassy features coming out like this and the flowers will probably come out of here and then I'm going to take a nice, a much more vibrant green and you can kind of, if you don't have a lot of greens, you can switch up, um, switch them up, them up by adding yellow or adding black to darken them or adding blue to make them um like uh like cooler so don't feel like you are stuck if you don't have a whole whack of different oops what is that <laughs> a whole whack of greens in your palette So I'm just playing around with with my greens here and with my petals and like my starting um, colors and whatnot. And I'm just painting like the, the petal part first before adding any color because um, I find that much easier. And you can make some shorter, some longer. So I had another critique, I'll call it a critique, on my one of my videos. Such a mean comment, but I support freedom of speech, so you know what? If that's what people want to say, if they want to be keyboard warriors, then uh, power to them. But she said something like, I don't care about your personal life. Don't distract me with with talking about things I don't care about. Uh, stick to the instruction of the painting and leave your personal life to a shrink. <laughs> Some I don't know. It was I I was kind of taken aback by that comment. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, and to that person, oh, and then they said, uh, if you don't stop, I'll unsubscribe or something like that. I'll wait, I'll await your decision. And to that person, I say, please unsubscribe because I am not going to stop talking about random things going on in my life. I can do whatever the heck I want on my channel. It's my channel. It's m my time that I put into this. Uh... And if I want to complain about a headache, then that is exactly what I'm going to do while I'm painting. And I mean, the other reason is if I didn't talk about random things, these tutorials, I feel like, would get pretty darn boring because there's a lot of times where I am doing a very repetitive step, like painting um, a pine tree, for instance, and I have to paint like 10 of them in a row. I'm not going to 
go over the step every single time I had to paint it. That would be extremely boring, I think. And if I just sat there in silence while painting um, the stuff that I'm painting, like, I don't know, I, I just feel I would be bored, you guys would probably be bored. At least here you have random things to listen to. Um, so, yeah, people have been kind of on a critique streak recently. <laughs> Stop hating on me, okay? I'm trying here. I'm putting out free content, like thousands of hours of free content. Maybe it's hundreds of hours, but it's taken me thousands of hours to paint all like 400 videos so far on this channel. Be a little more grateful, people. Uh, but yeah, uh, in all in all honesty, like I said, I um, I support people being able to say whatever they want to say. I just question why why they sometimes say the things that they say. There's so many things you can say or not say. It is uh, what my husband called it, main character syndrome. Where everyone, not everyone, a lot of people think everything revolves around them. And this is me being very judgmental, but I'm in a mood, so. <laughs> so I'm just telling you about the comments that I receive sometimes on this channel. Uh, but back to the instruction here. Once you have all your stems, your green stems down, you can start filling in like the, the colorful floral bits of, um, of this painting. So I don't really have a, what do you call it, plan. I'm just taking a random color and then popping it on wherever I think it's kind of appropriate. So I don't really like these red things that I painted. I wanted to make them look very abstract, but they look kind of childish. So I'm just trying to fix them by making them less um, jaggedy and more circular and kind of lifting off some of the color. My mom has these like beautiful blue flowers that grow in her yard and they kind of they they have all these tiny little um round spheres balls that kind of come off of them they look like kind of like this i don't know what they're called but that is what i'm painting here And finally, maybe some purple, something purple.
So I think that's pretty festive. Festive and springy. I'm gonna erase, I hope this is dry, the black. If not, you're gonna hear me cry on camera <laughs> as I tried to erase the pencil marks that guided me. <sighs> Perfect, that worked out well. I really like how this turned out. Let me know what you guys think, what you would have done differently. I'd love to hear it. Um, if not, I will see you in the next tutorial, but be sure to hit subscribe, like, comment, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.